Hi guys, I'm Waka back, this time in my living room. So today, we're going to have a look at the 3D model of the guitar, Infusion 360. And then we have a look at different tool pads before machining. Now, I have Fusion loaded up, and this is my guitar project, which is called the Lullaby Mo Model. As you can see, I have four bodies here. But for now, body 4, we ignore it. So, mainly, I, the guitar is made out of these three bodies, which is the mahogany plan, blank, the second one is the maple top, and the third one, oops, sorry, and the third one is the control cavity plate. The fourth body, which is just the copy of the guitar without the neck, pocket is used for the contour tool pads because like without this pocket I have a continuous parameter so I can use that for the contours but for now we'll talk about the mahogany blank so down here I have setups and I have different setup for different components for now, we're going to have a look only at this setup and maybe some of this. But for now, we're going to have a look at this one. When I press on the setup, we can see two things. The homing point, the zero, zero point, where all the X's are at zero value. This is where I align my tool with the CNC machine. So I can, so I know everything is set up at that point for all the for all the tool pads and this green area is for is what for fusion is the stock basically is the extra material in our in our case is the mahogany blank now let's have a look at different tool pads let's go down and these are all tool pads. As you can see, in front of them, there is a T number, T1, T2, and T3, T4. These are tool numbers. So I have tool one, which is an eight millimeter router cutter. Then I have tool two, which is an eight millimeter downcut spiral. Tool three, it's a quarter inch router cutter and tool 4 is a 1.8 flat end mill so the first one it's for the oops let's close this one the first one is for the tunomatic bridge post and it's a uh, drilling or boring operation and again it uses the 8 millimeter router cutter the second one is for the humbucker pocket and it uses the same 8 millimeter router cutter Finishing up with the same bit is the control cavity pocket.
Now, let's go to body 4. Body 4, as I said before, is used for the uh, contour of the blank. And it has its own setup, which is this one. Again, same point. Same homing point, which is the end center of the guitar. And here I have different two pads. For now, at this point, we only, we only, for now, at this point, I'm going to use only the first one, which is the whole parameter with an 8 millimeter outer cutter, just to clear up some material, and leaving 0.5 material at the side. So later, when I have the top installed, I can come and finishing up with this one. No, with this one, which is similar, but it's, it goes down further to compensate for the top, and it goes till the all till the edge. There's no, there's no material extra. After that, I can change to, this, to the 8mm spiral downcut cutter. This is very nice cutter because it leaves a really nice edge when cutting. That's why I leave it for the finishing strategy. So, we first have the contours of the humbucker pocket. This is because when I'm doing a pocket strategy, I usually leave 0.5 millimeter of material at the at the side, so I can finish up with this cutter and to leave a nice crisp edge. After that, with the same cutter, I finish up the control cavity contour. Then we change up to the quarter inch cutter and we do this wiring cavities. And then finishing up with a 1.8 millimeter end mill, this channel for the bridge ground.
just a small note on this channel this is on top of the mahogany blend obviously so when I machine the the recess for the tunomatic on the top this channel will be visible so in that case I will uh, plug it with a piece of mahogany on top leaving the, the leaving good amount of space for a wire to pass through that's it okay guys so now I have the body blank partially routed everything went well the cuts are nice and sharp that's the advantages of using a spiral down cut cutter for the final passes so I filled already off camera I already filled this small channel for the bridge ground but there's still space underneath to pass the wire I just filled it up because when we're going to machine the recess for the tunomatic the slot is going to be shown so that's why I filled it with a piece of mahogany so and that's it for this one next up next episode we'll prepare ooh, the white the flame top We'll prepare it for machining and most probably we glue it up so for today that's it i hope you liked it and enjoyed it and i see you in the next episode take care goodbye like subscribe all that good stuff and i see you next time